Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on tips to land your backflips. So the first thing to remember when you're doing backflips is they are hard. It is going to take a while, it is going to take lots of practice, and the key tip for doing your backflips is to just practice as much as you possibly can. Alright, so the first tip that most people get confused about is the actual takeoff itself and what to do with your legs. So most people like to bounce into a backflip on the ground or they push away from the floor expecting the floor to do most of the work for them. Instead of doing that, try and bend your knees to a 90 degree position and launch yourself up using the strength of your legs, pushing all the way through to your toes. A lot of people think the best way to do a back tuck is to have your knees together and tuck into a tight ball here. I personally find, and I teach this way, the best way to do it is to pull your knees just a little bit apart and don't tuck in at your knees, tuck in just below them at your shins. This gives you a better grip and if you slip, you're only going to slip to your knees. Most important part of this is when you're doing your backflips, you're not always going to land on your feet. With your knees together, your face can come down and you can injure your face, injure your nose if you have a bad landing. With your feet apart, your head can freely move in between your knees. So a standing backflip requires a lot of power. What we're going to do for the next tip is we're going to learn how to do a step back. So as we're coming for our back tuck, instead of swinging our arms and staying in the same place, we're first going to take a step forward with one foot. Once we've got our foot out in front of us, we're going to lean right forward, arms out in front of us, and as you step your foot back, you're going to swing your arms down to your hips. Once you're here, the motion is the exact same. Make sure your chest is over your toes and you're driving up to the roof. Alright, so go out and try some back tucks. Let us know how you go in the comments and if these tips helped you. Also let us know what you want to see next. If you're still having trouble with your back tucks and you need a few more tips, come down to Flips and Tumbles and ask one of our instructors. We will be happy to help. Do you feel the blood?